Good morning, church family. Our contemporary reading comes from Howard Thurman and Sue Bailey Thurman Collections at Boston University. The thing that made the greatest impression on me at the ceremonies at the base of the Lincoln Monument was not the vast throng, as thrilling as it was to be a part of such a tremendous movement of peoples on the march, it was not the inspired oratory of all the participating speakers, including the dazzling magic of the music and utter vitality stringing from the throat of Martin Luther King. It was not the repeated refrain of Eugene Blake saying on behalf of the church, we are late, but we are here. No, it was none of these things. What impressed me most was a small group of young people representing student nonviolent groups, fresh from the jails and violences of the South, who time and time again caught the spiritual overtones of the speakers and led the critical applause, which moved like a tidal wave over the vast audience. These people were tuned to the spiritual dimension of what they were about, even as what they were about was the exercising of their civil rights inherited in their citizenship. And our gospel reading comes from Mark 8, verses 31 to 37 from the egalitarian translation. Then Jesus began to teach them that the promised one had to suffer much, be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and religious scholars, be put to death, and rise again three days later. Jesus said these things quite openly. Peter then took him aside and began to take issue with him. At this, Jesus turned around and, eyeing the disciples, reprimanded Peter. Get out of my sight, you deceiver. You are judging by human standards rather than by God's. Jesus summoned the crowd and the disciples and said, If you wish to come after me, you must deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow in my footsteps. If you would save your life, you'll lose it. But if you lose your life for my sake, you'll save it. What can you offer in exchange for your soul? May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his word. Thank you for letting me be of service.